Welcome to the 2021 commencement. Although this year's ceremony is not what we anticipated months ago, it is still a very important time to recognize the achievement of the class of 2020. We may not be able to sit together in one room, but we are together in spirit, gathered to celebrate the unique and incredible achievements of the class of 2020. Parting ways in April was difficult for all of us, but we are deeply impressed by each and every graduate's ability to adapt, to change, and to juggle their professional and personal lives. So a huge congratulations to our graduates, not just for completing the year, but for completing it with such flexibility, adaptability, good grace, and humor. We would like to extend a special welcome to the family, friends, and sponsors of the graduates joining us today. No one makes it to graduation alone. And we share in our graduates' appreciation for all the ways you've supported their journey, especially during the twist of this year. Today's ceremony will begin with the address by the CEO, managing executives, and a guest speaker, followed by our certificate ceremonies led by the Dean, Yolanda Birman, and awards to our top achievers across the different departments. To get things started, we would like to introduce to you our CEO, Mike Lambert, and Executive Managers to share some special messages of congratulations. Hi, I'm Mike Lambert, CEO of the Invictus Education Group. Firstly, I wish to take the opportunity to congratulate you, the students, on a most significant day today, being a graduation. I'm so proud of each and every one of you who has put in an enormous amount of effort and work to get this far in your lives. I also wish to thank your parents and sponsors who have made enormous financial sacrifices in putting you through our institution. As a parent myself with three children, I know what it takes to do this. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. And I think it's important that you reflect on where you are in your life and journey today. Like a mountain climber who is climbing a range of mountains in life, you've achieved a great milestone today. You've got to the top of the highest mountain so far, but by standing at the top with your lives ahead of you, there are many more to go. Your parents and sponsors have helped this far and given you the best key to life, a quality education, and the rest is now up to you. Now, whilst this is scary, it's not. Napoleon Hill once said, what the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Think how nervous you were on day one studying here and how far you have come. The key is to create a vision for yourself and for your future. See yourself as being successful and achieving your dream job or business, and then go for it. Enjoy today, treasure and savor the moment. Once again, congratulations and all the best for your future. Good day, and welcome to the graduating class of 2020. Also, a special welcome to the sponsors and parents of our students and to the amazing staff of SAE Rosebank, who I'm sure has tuned in to watch this momentous occasion. Graduates, as much as we are proud of your achievements and the dedication shown over the last trying year, it's your belief in yourself and the belief to chase a dream and a career that most might see as untraditional. That is what makes us proud and is extremely commendable. Also, I need to mention to the parents and sponsors, thank you for your understanding and for being patient with the student and their choices that they have made. Students, this can never be taken for granted. It's actually a gift. Graduates, as you enter into the working world, I want to leave you with a, with, a, with a little bit of advice. Patience is everything. You have been fortunate enough to find your passion very early in life. This affords you time, so all you need to do is just be patient. Patience, you need to remember, however, it's not about not, not doing anything. It's about doing everything and just being patient for the results. You now have the foundation that you require and all the tools to write your own story. From the SAE team, we wish you all the best. We will be watching, and all we ask is that you never stop creating. Thank you. And now, it is my privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker, Lorsha Cooper, 
So help me in welcoming her to share some words of advice about the industry. A huge congratulations to you, the graduates of 2020. How amazing. The first thing I want to say is well done for showing up for yourselves. So many people are able to start the race and they don't necessarily finish it. You finished it. And it's important that you are able to acknowledge yourself. So pat on the back for you. I know what it takes to see things through when there are so many challenges that faces us, first of all, in our industry, the entertainment industry, the creative industry. There's so many concerns, right? So our concerns are always based on, are we going to be employed? Will we be employable? Is there space for us? Will we be able to carry this through? What are we going to, what is our mark that we're going to make? All of these questions, you are absolutely normal. There's nothing wrong with those questions. In fact, if you are not asking those questions and you simply think that you're going to fall into the next big thing, I think you should go back to the drawing board. Now, what does it take to be creative in an industry where there are millions of people who are talented, but not everyone's talented the same, not everyone's skilled the same? So again, I'm going to say, what is your skill set? What are you good at? Capitalize on that while you're working on your weaknesses. Don't ever expose your weaknesses. Keep your strengths at the forefront while you are working on your weaknesses. Professionalism in our industry is absolutely everything. Back in the day, we could afford to be divas, throw little tantrums. Now it's everyone is skilled because everyone is leveling up. Everyone is putting in the work. Everyone is trying to be better all the time. And so eventually, at the end of the day, people go, well, who's easier to work with? Who's going to give us the same quality, but with absolute ease? When you're working on a set for a long time, no matter what position you hold, it's so important that there is a synergy on set. It doesn't help that you're shooting for three months, you're filming for three months, and it's uncomfortable, it's uneasy. So also check yourself. Who are you when you step onto set? Are you easy to work with? And yes, you're allowed to ask questions, and yes, you're allowed to be inquisitive, but know your time and your place. Um, people seem to think that once you've studied, then you've done all the work. Um, the beautiful, not rude, the beautiful awakening is that there is still so much more ahead of you. And as you grow, and as you bloom, and as you flourish, you'll realize just how this journey is continual all the time. I mean, myself as a performer, I still go to acting classes. I still make sure that I clean up, you know, that I try and keep myself just a little bit ahead of being complacent. I don't like complacency, personally. I'm, I'm someone who drives quite hard. Um, and in our entertainment industry, it's so important that you have that because innovation is everything. Can you think out of the box? Can you create something that someone may not have thought of or thought of but couldn't bring to life? What is your narrative in the industry? That's a, such an important thing. What is your narrative? What are you saying? What do you stand for? What do you want your content to serve as? And in turn, how do you want that content to serve you? So at the moment, when you look at content all over the place, be it music, um, be it TV, well, in any creator space, what is interesting is that everyone is pushing boundaries. The stories we used to tell before were so conservative and so collective and very pretty and very trimmed, and very nice. And now we're going, no, 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 we actually have real stories other than just political stories to tell. We have more stories. South Africa have lives. So look at yourself also as a, as a global voice. What does the world need to know about us? What does the world? South Africa is just a country you live in, but really you live in the world. And what I love about our industry is that us as creatives, we can really live in the world because the whole world is ours. We can tell stories from all over the world. All the world wants to know what our stories are or what our music is or what creative input we'd like to put out there. And I'll never forget that who you are is as important as what you do. So be a brilliant creative, but also be a great human. That when you walk on any set or onto any, whatever it is, any workspace that you walk into, that you people are able to go, hey, yeah, I'm so excited you're here. Instead of like, oh, he's here, we have to work with him, or she's here, ugh. Let's just get it done. Who you are is as important as what you do. Be brave, 
be courageous, stand tall, have integrity and dignity. And remember, if you don't play, you can't win. And so, to the class of 2020, you give us a sense of hope and inspiration as you enter the world to share your skills, ideas, and dedication. So join me, wherever you are, in congratulating the graduating class of 2020. And now for the Dean, Yolanda Birman, to officially open the ceremony. Dear guests and class of 2020, I declare this graduation ceremony as open. Higher Certificate in Animation and Visual Effects. Kanisa Boy. Cameron Justine Bais. Smangaliso Bongani Klele. Caleb Shailen Herpel. Akum Fanele Kani with Suma Kumlada. Alex Kawiza. Tsepo Porongo. Siabonga Metluli Chabalala. Atlehang Tsotseti. Higher Certificate in Digital Film Production. James Patrick Buerta. Siabulela Duna. Bongani Teven Klope. Ilandre Janse van Rensberg. Leanne Mujinga Kalonji. Resejo Mpo Mabuso. Snetlandla Mdladla. Livingston Mduduzi Mpelisi Mkobizwe Masuku. Priniso Mklongo. Utandile Mniki. Tamren Chanel Naidu with Suma Kumlada. Mkabuto William Dumolutle Mkamo. Masereko Pemelelo Karabo Ntla. Grant Page. Jeanette Rafalema. Kayalitle Ramatsoma. Fiona Sheume Rampiri. Nare Tsepiso Premier Sima. Tariq Solman with Cum Laude. Jenna Lee Whitehead. Luvo Mzuvukile Kala. Higher Certificate in Sound Production. Richard Lee De Silva Duarte Anteo with Suma Cum Laude. Jason Dean Bodinet. Malabutle Lawrence Tlamini. Andile Taris Dulaze. Nkobi Sipamandla Kumbula. Unkopoto Latakomo. Kiabetwe Mahape Mankole. Makoshini Junior Masilela. Matlate Matala. Tumelo Mateka. Tando Mbende. Muhau Tlolejo Lepono Mfenyana. Sanele Mkwanazi. Kutwano Matlong Nklovu. Naiko Windsor Mkuna. Pulani Mpendulu Ntuli. 
Mpumelelo, Mpewa, Hank Daniel Roots, Urabile Ruben Mamole Selemala, Kate Allen Spear. Dear graduates, I hereby confer all qualifications awarded. Congratulations. Every year, the Institute recognizes a student from each program as the top achiever. These are the students that have shown immense dedication and passion, which results in great academic achievements. Highest academic achievement in the highest certificate in animation and visual effects. Akum Panele Kani. Highest academic achievement in the highest certificate in digital film production. Tamran Chanel Naidu. Highest academic achievement in the highest certificate in sound production. Richard Lee De Silva Duarte Anteo. In closing, to the class of 2020, thank you to each and every one of you, not just for being our students, but for what you're going to do in your respective industries and the world in future. We wish you all the best.